so we're going to review Spider-Man here shortly. So don't get too much into that aspect of it. Yeah. But we do have some news about Spider-Man, particularly the contract between Sony and Marvel. Yeah. What do what yeah. do we find in out? So a lot of uh, news outlets have picked this up recently, um, and it depends on how Spider-Man does at the box office. It's so far looking pretty good. It's made over $600 million in its first week, so it's well on its way. But um, their contracted, or Marvel's contract with Sony is for three movies, but Sony can retain full control uh, of Spider-Man if, I guess, this movie or any of the movies don't reach the billion-dollar threshold um so there's a possibility that happens i don't know with competition coming up like competition from other films coming up and lion king and stuff like that i don't know how much more how much more legs spider-man has to continue mm -hmm. on but if they don't hit a billion dollars sony is within their rights to take it full control back from marvel um which we is are... interesting i'm sorry go on go why is it interesting go um it hasn't done as well as I would have expected in its first shot. Um, it's at a $160 million budget. Um, as of July 9th, yesterday, it had 211 million. That's um, uh, US though, right? So it's it six, is US. It's 600 it million US. worldwide. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, yes. never mind then. Yeah, that yeah. makes so it's sense. So it's at 600 million after its first week. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, chances are it'll probably hit the billion and we wouldn't have to worry about it and we'll get one more at least one more um mcu marvel spider-man marvel controlled mm -hmm. spider-man but that kind of gives a makes me ask the question i guess if it doesn't hit it you're going to be what as excited it? for it if sony get, takes the reins back i, I mean we were um, i was kind of mixed on a lot of the sony movies uh, uh recently with uh venom and uh shoot wasn't there another comic book movie from didn't Sony's they characters? do the animated one did okay yeah i mean spider verse is good you know so it's venom you know, you is can't not really... venom being live action was kind of the one i mean in my opinion yeah but it made like money it, but true true yeah venom so would you guys money. be worried about how it would play out if it went back to Sony's hands out of Marvel's hands. Not necessarily. Yes. Because, I mean, like, when I think of, <laughs> like, the older, like, the Tobey Maguire movies, I didn't hate them. I thought they, I especially at the time, I thought they were really entertaining. You know, it was the early days. Um, they weren't the way, like, the, the they weren't up to the expectations of more modern Marvel movies. Um, but if you look at some of the other Marvel movies earlier on in there, span you know there are some equally rough spots um so you know i i think i don't think sony like if they hit like 990 million like yeah sony is within their right to take it back but that doesn't necessarily mean they would do you, you know, um they all want to make money you mentioned the toby mcguire ones do you remember a thing about the other ones that you didn't mention I mean, I as liked, much as I, I remember the Tobey Maguire ones, I mean, I didn't have a problem with any of them, but... Okay. I, See, I, was... I actually liked the Andrew Garfield better than I did Tobey Maguire. Okay. I, I think the Andrew Garfield ones were pretty forgettable. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. See, Maguire everybody really two, liked... liked but... Everybody really liked the second Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I hated it. The Doc I Ock did, one? The Doc Ock one. I did not like it. I did not like Doc Ock. I did not like... And and I can't tell you why, and and so you know it's hard it's hard for me to 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 compare and say oh well you know you like it because of this, this, this. I just didn't like it I just I I wasn't as Fine. big of a fan of Toby as at the time that they came out I liked Toby Maguire as Spider Man as time has progressed I don't like Toby Maguire as Spider Man um, and I think maybe maybe I soured to it on the third one. Um, I've actually never finished the third one. I got halfway good. through it, and I said, "I can't, I can't do this. I, I, I can't finish watching it." And so I don't know if that kind of turned me off on all the rest of them after that point in time, but they just don't do anything for me. Well, there weren't any more Tobey Maguire's after that. But even the first two, it's, like I can't. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I, say it shut down for a while after that, and then yeah, then I got no. Andrew Garfield back. Or, and and I I actually enjoyed Andrew Garfield a little bit more. Maybe I enjoyed Andrew too because I like Emma Stone better than I like 
Kirsten Dunst. And so that might have been part of it. Yeah. I don't know. Emma Stone was probably the best part of those movies. Um, That's fair. But I think Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man by yeah. far. Yes. I think he's done a very good job. I yes. think the character works. and he, he he still looks like he could be a high school kid, too. Like, he's not a, an older person. I mean, he is, but he's not an older person. It feels person different, like too, because, like, the the time i feel like the timeline of it is a little earlier like the the kind of like the peter parker to spider-man transition like toby Maguire, he's kind of like he's in school but he's kind of going to college wasn't he already working at the newspaper in the uh, he might have had like parts of it one, but I, I think yeah i feel like that kind of eventually transitioned there where with with this one you know first you have the fact that he was you know in high school for most of it and then with the 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 blipping he blipped yeah you know he's still in school even though time is is kind of whatever so i think it's he's a younger character but kind of going through some of the same events so i think it's it's a slightly different take um and well, you know just the fact that they up. skip his origin story completely is is different yeah it's too. very different you know from that regard so and i was actually glad they did it yeah I mean, we know Spider Man at this point. Like the the if they do Batman, exactly. or when they do Batman again, I hope they don't do the uh, parents getting murdered. Scene parents over getting and over gunned again. down yeah. in the back corner. You yeah. don't want to see that. You don't want to see uh, D- uh, David uh, or Morgan. Shoot, what's his name? Morgan Freeman. Ah, huh? <laughs> Morgan Freeman. No. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Laura Cohen getting shot down in the background. Oh, are they the, are they the parents? Were they cast? They were the parents in the uh, Christian Bale. Mm. Were they yeah. really? Wow. Yeah. I, Which is funny because they they were they are in or in the Walking Dead together. No, they're not. They're not the Jeffrey D. Morgan is not the parents in the Christian Bale one. Uh he's the parent he's in not. one of them. He's okay. the parent in one of them. Probably like <laughs> Batman v Superman. I think uh, like, maybe that's what it was. That makes yeah. more sense. That yeah. that may have been what it was. You're right. Yes. I'm sorry. One thousand percent was not in the Christian bill. Wow. Um, wow. You got to go there, huh? So thousand percent. So Jared, you you would not be excited to see it back in in Sony's hands. Uh, not at this point in time, no, because I've seen what Marvel can do, and, and to me, it's just it's night and day. I mean, Sony, in my opinion, what Sony needs to do is just make a crap ton of money and sell the rights to to Marvel and just take the money that they have and run. Does it make I, you I just, nervous that uh, there's only one more currently like yes. that they're contracted for? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. and not necessarily that uh, from a solo standpoint. But from an MCU standpoint, because I'd love to see Spider-Man in more movies, in more Avenger movies. You know, Again, see, keep in mind, like if they're all doing well, yeah, they'll Sony's re-up making it a crap ton of money. Oh, they're sure. just going to make a new contract and be like, you know what? I don't have to do any work. I get a ton of money. Go ahead, we'll do another three, maybe another, you know, one it's or also, two side movie. It's also not hard to fathom that Sony's going to be like, hey, well, they could do it. We could do it too. Let me let's just kind of up true. our price and see what Marvel they says. Might. And if Marvel yeah, doesn't, they might try and squeeze him. Yeah, if Marvel yeah. doesn't go for it, then you know. Yeah, I just I I I just think Marvel needs control of Batman or Batman. <laughs> that would That's be a, a problem. Thing. I'm still thinking about <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I would of, love to uh, see them Spider-Man. take control of Batman and yeah, Spider Man. Uh, and you were right. It was it was Batman v v, v Superman. Dawn of that, Justice. Yeah, that's where Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Laura. Anyway, um, so let's hope that Spider Man hits a billion, and we don't even have to. It worry probably about this will. I mean, it... I'd I'd be shocked if it didn't. Be shocked if it didn't. 